Welcome to Taco Bell. Would you like to try our Doritos Locos Tacos? Taco Bell has been serving up Mexican-inspired food for over 50 years. The restaurant has been the go-to hot spot for anyone who has a severe case of the munchies. Oh, cool taco shells! While no one is going to mistake the Taco Bell tacos for something they'd chow down on in Mexico, that doesn't stop the public from eating all of the beefy and cheesy goodness they can serve up. So let's look at 10 tacos and burritos that will make you run to Taco Bell. Somebody help us! See? Uh, yes, I'd like, um, how do you say taco in Mexican? Doritos Locos Tacos. What the hell's wrong with you? No, no. Are you insane? Nothing has impacted the world of fast food like the Doritos Locos Taco. It could be said that even Taco Bell has been shocked by the popularity of these tacos. Why are they so popular? You wouldn't ask that question if you've ever had one. They're actually quite delicious, but the reason for their popularity can be traced directly to what the younger crowd wants. Those in the target category of 18 to 35 want not just a meal, but an experience as well. They're searching for something more than a sense of hunger fulfillment while eating. What exactly is a Doritos Locos Taco? Uh, just give me one of those crispy shells with meat in it. Taco? If you don't know, then it's high time you head on over to Taco Bell and get a couple. The taco shell is made from Doritos. Yes, you heard that right. There are three choices. Nacho cheese, Cool Ranch, and Fiery. As you can imagine, the Fiery is an excellent choice for those who like things super hot. The Nacho Cheese and Cool Ranch are must-try items on the Taco Bell menu. They're something that you can't ever get out of your head. Get out of my head! Unlike some Taco Bell items, such as the Firecracker Burrito, Doritos Locos Tacos are here to stay. How can something so awesome ever leave us? Anyone who has ever bitten into a Dorito Locos Taco knows there's just one problem with them. That would be, the shell is softer than the crunchy shells everyone is familiar with. That's the reason why the Doritos Locos Taco has a special protective case for its shell. You'll be glad it does when you begin eating it. The flavor of the shell goes wonderfully with the seasoned beef, lettuce, and cheese. Make your Doritos Locos Taco a supreme, and they'll add sour cream and tomatoes. Do yourself a favor and try one of these tacos if you haven't already. You'll wonder how you were ever able to live for a single second without having these delicious tacos in your life. Neil, this is loco. Double Decker Taco Supreme. A double decker boss! Have you ever dreamed of being able to eat two tacos at the very same time? How can you do that when you only have one mouth? Well, the answer to that question is far more simple than you may think. All you need to do is order a Double Decker Taco Supreme. It's two tacos in one. How can that be? Well, leave it to Taco Bell to make sure that you can stuff your mouth with as much of their delicious food as possible. What the heck is that? It's a double-decker. A double-decker taco starts with a soft tortilla with refried beans added to it. Then the tortilla is wrapped around a hard-shell taco that's then filled with ground beef, sour cream, lettuce, cheese, and tomatoes added on top. All of that delicious goodness is just one taco. You don't need two mouths to satisfy your craving for double the flavor. And it will be like a taco inside a taco within a Taco Bell. Bean Burrito. You want to do something fun? You want to go to Taco Bell? The bean burrito seems like such a harmless choice. It only has beans, red sauce, onion, and cheese. It almost sounds like a fantastic snack. Weighing in at 380 calories, this is a meatless burrito that's kind of beefy. It's relatively easy to put away a few of these burritos without thinking about it. If you do that, you'll do more than just toot for a day or two. You'll also need to do quite a heavy workout to burn all those calories. It's hard to believe that a burrito with so few ingredients could have so many calories. Calories. Keep an eye on those beans, as they make the calorie count on their other items skyrocket as well. It's hard to deny just how great they taste, though. Always delicious, Taco Bell. Vegetarians love the bean burrito, and many consider it their go-to fast food item. Many vegetarians love Taco Bell since it's easy to have them remove the meat from quite a few items. The same refried beans that are in the bean burrito can be exchanged for meat at no extra charge in their menu items that have ground beef. Those who are seeking meatless alternatives to their favorite Taco Bell items should ask to have the meat replaced with beans. They'll be more than happy to do it for you. I can't go to Taco Bell. I'm on an all-carb diet. Chicken Soft Taco. Chicken tastes like everything. 
Did you know that the chicken soft taco has gone through a few changes over the years? If so, then you're someone who enjoyed this chicken taco from way back. It used to have grilled chicken, pico de gallo, lettuce, and cheese. Today, the chicken soft taco consists of shredded chicken, lettuce, and cheese. Don't freak out, you can still add pico sauce. Just keep in mind that it'll cost you extra. Gone are the days when you can enjoy this taco with the free addition of pico de gallo. It goes to show you that some things really were better back in the day. Hey, this isn't Taco Bell. You may go with a chicken soft taco if you're worried about calories. The item weighs in at 170 calories the way it comes. That's not too many calories if you don't load it up with a whole lot of other things. A couple of these and a glass of ice water makes for a somewhat healthy fast food meal. Healthy in the sense that you're still eating a ton of calories and salt. But sometimes you just want to feel less guilty when enjoying your guilty pleasures. Here's your taco, sir. I don't want it. But this comes out of my salary. Chili Cheese Burrito Where's my burrito? No! Are you one of the many who considers themselves a member of the Chili Cheese Burrito cult? It's not a cult. If so, you don't have to unveil your identity to anyone. However, just know you are not alone. What isn't there to love about both chili and cheese? It's a menu item that many people who regularly visit Taco Bell know nothing at all about. What is it? It's cheesy, beefy goodness wrapped in a tortilla. Actually, it's just that. There is nothing else in the chili. No beans, vegetables, or anything to get in the way of all that wonderful flavor. It's just meat, cheese, and chili sauce. You feel guilty while eating it because you know deep down inside it's just wrong. And when something is this wrong, it feels wonderfully right. Something a little fishy about you, your son, your little Taco Bell dog, and this whole operation you got going on here. You shouldn't expect this to resemble any chili that you've ever known. It could even be said that it's like a Tex-Mex version of Coney Dog sauce without the onion. This is one of those burritos that you don't want to eat while driving down the road. It's not unheard of to squeeze on it and all of the chili and cheese comes out. Leave it to the seasoned veterans to eat this while taking a road trip. If you find yourself on the road and craving one of these burritos, do the right thing and pull over. Your shirt and probably even pants will thank you for the effort. No, no, no thank you. Sourdough soft taco then, what do you want? No, really, I'm fine. Seven layer burrito. All right, a seven layer burrito, but that's as high as I'm going. The seven layer burrito was the original gut bomb before all the others came around. If you're hungry and on a budget, then you already know what this burrito is all about. I got a double chunk gut bomb with cheese by mistake. You may even use one of these burritos as a workout tool before eating it. That way you can burn the enormous 440 calories it contains. Adventurous eaters have been known to put more than one of these away in a sitting. What makes up the seven layer burrito? It starts with refried beans, then a healthy serving of seasoned rice goes on top of it. Sour cream and guacamole are added to help it all slide down. So you're ready to eat the seven layer quesarito chipotle beefy nacho supreme? If all that wasn't enough, then cheese, tomatoes, and lettuce are added too. All of this combines for a burrito that can leave you feeling full and needing a nap. Those who think that Chipotle was the first chain to offer burritos that require you to loosen your belt better think again. Hey guys, someone took mine by mistake. Chimichanga? Waffle taco. A waffle taco? What's next, a pancake enchilada? For years upon years, Taco Bell gave up the breakfast fight with restaurants like McDonald's. All of that changed just a handful of years ago. The introduction of the waffle taco shook the very foundation of fast food breakfast. Taco Bell had to do something other than introduce inexpensive items to compete with the big boys. They had to knock it out of the ballpark. And that's precisely what they did with the waffle taco. I love Taco Bell's new breakfast. What exactly is a waffle taco? You better be sitting down for this. It's a taco that has a waffle shell. Inside the shell was your choice of bacon or sausage, scrambled eggs, and cheese. You were also given containers of syrup instead of packets of sauce. Did you notice the switch to past tense? If so, you were probably feeling pretty upset. Yes, the waffle taco is no more. You can't get this fantastic item at any Taco Bell. Hopefully, someone out there with a lick of sense will bring it back. The world can't go on too much longer without this sweet and savory breakfast delight. It says pizza and it says taco, but we only got taco. Burrito Supreme. Eric, he promised me Dingna was a big meat. The Burrito Supreme is one of those Taco Bell menu items that seems to have been around forever. You can rest assured that someone in a packed Taco Bell is enjoying one. 
Few menu items have lasted the test of time like the Burrito Supreme has. You'll know for a fact that if you're a lover of this fantastic concoction that you'll never have to go without. There are few menu items that are as sure to never be replaced as this one is. Big meat? We went to Taco Bell. The Burrito Supreme packs a who's who of Taco Bell's famous ingredients. It starts with a healthy dose of refried beans. After that, seasoned ground beef is added to it. Then it gets the red sauce treatment much like the bean burrito does. Does. It also has sour cream, lettuce, cheese, onion, and tomato. These are all items that have always been on the menu at Taco Bell. That in itself is one of the reasons why it has been a staple of the fast food joint. The new quesalupa from Taco Bell. Get it with chicken. Firecracker burrito. I will get you your chicken burrito. Have you ever wanted to eat a mouthful of spicy pop rocks along with your burrito? If you answered yes, then Taco Bell had exactly what you're craving. Well, the truth is, the firecracker burrito had a very limited run. It wasn't available nationwide. For a limited time! Before you have a nervous breakdown, it's still possible this 2017 creation will hit the market again sometime soon. All the fast food restaurants test run items before taking them to a wider audience. There's still hope that someday in the not so distant future, you'll have the opportunity to enjoy the pop rock like crackle that this burrito offers up. We hate to do it, but now let's talk about this burrito that you're probably never going to taste. The teasing is far too much, but you've got to know. You can't live the rest of your life not knowing exactly what's in the firecracker burrito. Such a punishment isn't fitting for any person who considers themselves a lover of Taco Bell. Do you like Taco Bell? Here, why don't you take these coupons? The firecracker burrito was offered in both spicy and cheesy varieties. They both had a red tortilla, seasoned ground beef, rice, red tortilla strips, low-fat sour cream, and nacho cheese sauce. The spicy version got a chipotle sauce for added heat. The kicker is the cayenne-infused Pop Rocks-like candy. You were supposed to add those to the burrito as you eat it. They weren't hidden for you to discover later on. It's also been said that the spicy, crackling candy, for for lack of a better term, was available as an add-on, which means that you could buy them and put it on any food item you wish. There's no word if the firecracker burrito is coming to a Taco Bell near you. Maybe, just maybe, if you're good and Santa knows it, he'll ask your local Taco Bell to carry this gastronomical wonder. Who knows, you may find one in your stocking this coming Christmas. Are these firecrackers? Double XL Grilled Stuffed Burrito. We've traveled a long distance to see you, oh great one. You know that anything from a fast food restaurant with XXL in the title is going to be loaded with calories. The Double XL Grilled Stuffed Burrito is no exception, and it weighs in at a whopping 870 calories. Are you thinking about enjoying a dessert after your burrito? Only do so if you plan on fasting for a week or running in a marathon. You probably also want to skip the soda pop and stick with water. It would seem pretty foolish to drink diet soda pop with a massive burrito like this. Are you ready to hear what's in this burrito? It has all the makings of a great Taco Bell item. By the way, Brick, what is that you're eating? Try not to drool. It starts with a healthy dose of seasoned ground beef, refried beans, seasoned rice, guacamole, pico de gallo, three cheese blend, reduced fat sour cream, and avocado ranch sauce. Really, reduced fat sour cream? Why? It's almost hilarious to think that anyone would care how much fat the sour cream has in it when eating this burrito that has enough calories for two meals. Oh, let's not forget that the burrito is grilled. They grill up the burrito after it has been assembled. Think of this process as adding a little flair to the burrito. Sometimes you just have to forget about the calories and enjoy your Yourself. If there's any good news, it's that this is a menu item that you're not going to order more than one of. So in that sense, it's probably a pretty good value. It's a meal in itself. You shouldn't need anything else to feel full and completely satisfied. Grab your umbrellas, ladies. Hurricane Doug's gonna make it rain. Stick around and tap that screen to check out one of our other great videos. And if you're here for the first time, we'd love it if you'd subscribe to our channel. Go ahead and swat that subscribe button and ding that notification bell.